Hi, Emily here from Current Body. I get an awful lot of questions from people wanting to find out more about the hair regrowth products that we sell. So this is a fairly new um, area of the beauty world. Um, since scientists discovered that laser light can encourage hair regrowth. So there's a lot of different laser technologies out there. Um, there are lasers that remove hair. There are lasers that can be fired um, deep down into the skin to stop wrinkles before they form. And there are lasers that help with hair regrowth. So the simplest way I can kind of explain it um, is if you think about light as a whole is energy. The sun gives us light, it's energy, it makes things grow. So um, scientists have managed to harness um, LLLT, which is low laser light therapy, into home use devices. And they have actually been used in salons for a number of years. And you can pay quite a lot of money to go and have laser therapy to help regrow thinning hair. Um, now, there are a huge array of home use devices available. So I'm gonna try and run you through some of them um, and explain the slight differences between them all. Um, but what I should really say about them is what they really do are three things. So the number one is that they increase blood flow to the hair follicle. So um, you have the laser on the top of the head and it fires down into the hair follicle um, and it um, stimulates kind of blood flow to the area, which we all know is a good thing, you know, because of course that gets things moving. Um, it also increases microcirculation. So that um, is um, sort of introducing different stimulating things into the hair follicle to help it regrow. And it isn't about, um, you know, making a dead hair follicle come back to life because that really it isn't really that possible. And with these treatments, it's the earlier you can get started, the better. If you're completely bald, probably not going to work for you. Whereas if you're thinning or if you've got patches, it can help to re-stimulate those hair follicles. Um, so um, yes, yeah, so you're stimulating the hair follicle and you're decreasing the minimization of it. So over the years, and you can see this very clearly in male pattern baldness, for example, um, where over the years the, the hair follicles minimize, they're not as healthy, they don't have as much protein in them, so they don't grow as much. Um, and so these um, um, the lasers can actually kind of re-stimulate them. And then the final thing is that they send special proteins and uh, help send special proteins and enzymes um, that normally block the hair follicle. Um, they help sort of send those away. So these are called DHT blockers. Um, so DHT is um, a sort of enzyme and a hormone that's released and that is what um, minimizes the hair follicle from growing. So you can also actually buy from us. Um, these are um, made by Hairmax, and they are some thinning scalp, uh, thinning hair and scalp treatments, which help with um, getting your hair to look more dense. So um, you've got a shampoo and a conditioner that are formulated for thinning hair, but you've also then got um, the activator. This is the really important one of the four. So the activator is great for using after you've done a treatment using your Hairmax comb or any of the other ones you wish to purchase. Um, and the activator is a follicle booster. So it blocks those DHT, that DHT, and it helps to stop the minimization of the hair follicle. So let me run you through the different products. I'm sorry if it gets confusing. Um, so I'll start off with our laser hair combs as I'm already talking about Hairmax. So um, we have three laser hair combs from Hairmax, um, the seven, nine, and the 12. And simply put, in the seven, there are seven lasers, in the nine, there are nine, and in the 12, there are 12. Obviously, the more lasers you've got, um, the shorter the treatment time. So if you're looking at the seven, it's an amazingly low price when you compare to a lot of the other devices out there. Um, but of course, you do have to dedicate more time to it. So I think it's three times a week, 20 minutes at a time. Um, and what's great about the Hair Max combs is although you have to sit there and manually do it, unlike the caps where you just sit there and wear them, um, it's got these painted teeth and the teeth actually part the hair meaning that you can see the scalp and that the laser can get right down into the scalp really well. So if you aren't necessarily someone who's got thinning hair, um, but you want to have fuller, thicker hair, let's face it, don't we all? Um, these are really great because you will actually part the hair and get into um, right down into the scalp. Uh, so they work really well. So you've got the seven that's got seven lasers. If you can, if your budget allows, you can move up to the nine. And if your budget allows even further, once you get up to the um, 12, 
with the 12 red lasers, I think you only have to do about a 10 minute treatment three times a week. So it is markedly less. And obviously the less time you have to invest, the better. So it's really about budget versus time. Um, then moving on to the cap devices that we sell. So first of all, you've got the laser cap. Um, and so this is a, um, sort of a small round um, flat device that sits on the top of the head with a single wire that comes off it. And actually um, it's designed not within a helmet, but as a very thin cap that goes all the way around the outside. So it's quite slim and you can actually put it on and put a hat on over the top. Um, so that means that you can carry on your normal daily life. Um, I think a treatment's 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, so it's very convenient. You're not constrained. And actually, I'm talk I said there's a wire. That can't be right, can it? Because you'd look a bit silly with that. Um, so um, you're not constrained. It means you're more likely to do it. You can fit it in as often as you need to. Um, so that's the laser cap. That's the benefit on that one. It does come in at the most expensive. And that's, of course, because of the fact that the technology has been condensed so much into that little cap. So then you've got the eye grow. Um, so this is a full on helmet that you place upon the head. It's very space age looking. Um, and one of the unique things about this one is that it's got an audio port. So you can actually plug in your um, iPhone, iPod, um, you can run a cable through from the TV. So you can sit there and you can just do your treatment as you're watching the TV of an evening, which is awesome, let's face it. Um, it, it's great for, specifically for, and the clinical trials that have been done with it, are done on thinning hair. So not necessarily part baldness or anything, but on hair that is markedly thinner where the hair follicle has been minimised. Um, and a lot of their clinical trials have been done on women as well as men. Um, and if you link through to each of the pages of the products I'm talking about, um, it will say there about the FDA clearance, um, which is... Um, you know where they've been through scientific trials to say that they're safe to use in America it also applies over here um, and what the clinical trials have been done on each one because with a big investment product like this it's very important to look into that kind of thing and then finally um, this is probably my favorite this is the Theradome the Theradome's got an amazing 80 lasers contained in it okay so you know I was talking about the Hemax with the 12 and okay so this one's got 80 um, and so again, it's a helmet that you put on, it's got 80 lasers spread throughout the whole of the helmet. Um, it's a great device, the clinical trials have been done on men and on women, um, and it shows great results. And um, the iGro and the Theradome have got very similar price points, but the Theradome does contain more lasers. Um, and one thing I should also say, you may look at the caps and think, yes, okay, great, the convenience is brilliant. And actually, it is, you know, you just get to sit there and there is more work involved in the combs. But as I said about the parting the hair with the comb, also with the laser combs, if you've got baldness or thinning hair that is on a particular part of your head, so the caps are great for treating the top. But if you've got patchiness or anything that's developing around the sides, you can really target those areas using the comb and you can use it to move in specific places all over the head instead of just being in one place. So it does give you a bit more freedom and it does mean that you're able to specify your treatment exactly to what your hair needs. So I hope that's cleared up a few of the problems for you, but obviously if you are having a problem deciding which one is the best for you, please, please do comment below or feel free to drop me a line on sales at currentbody.com.